In this tutorial, we'll look at EXS24 Sampler and how you can play, edit and create your own instruments. Sampler plays back audio files called samples that you load into it. These samples are combined into tuned organized collections called sampler instruments. Let's select the region that we want to work with and copy it by holding Option key and dragging the mouse. Press S to solo the track. Next, we are going to load this region into the sampler by pressing Ctrl E. In this example, we create zones from regions. Click OK to create new sampler track. Now let's go to the inspector and select EXS24 sampler. Sampler's interface has four main sections. On top, you can see sampler instrument field and global parameters that can be used to select sampler instruments and define the polyphony. Below you can see pitch, filter and output parameters that can be used to adjust tuning and shape the tonal color of the sampler instrument. Modulation Rotor lets you link modulation sources such as envelopes and LFOs to modulation targets such as oscillators and filters. Modulation and control parameters are used to assign and adjust the LFOs and envelopes. Next, let's go to the editor and look at how we can control sample playback. Instrument editor window is used to create and edit sampler instruments. By default, Logic Pro assigned our region to the C3 key. We can assign this sample to different keys on the keyboard and customize its playback. First, we're going to change the key range from C3 to C4. Now, our sample will change pitch within this range. Next, we assign the original pitch on the F3, so we can go up and down from that key on the keyboard. This way you can play long samples and loops. Next, we are going to look at how we can work with transients. Let's select the region and press Ctrl E. This time we're going to create zones from transient markers. In this case, Logic Pro will detect the transients and assign each sound to individual keyboard on the virtual keyboard. Now let's go to the inspector, open the sampler and look at the editor. As you can see, Logic Pro detected a lot of sounds. Sometimes Logic Pro cannot detect the transient properly and you can hear this click. To fix this problem we can click on the sample slot and open audio editor. Now we can manually nudge the region and get rid of the click. This way you can ensure that all your samples are intact. Next we are going to look at how you can prepare your sounds before uploading into the sampler. Let's select the region and press Z to zoom in. Now we can cut the sounds that we want to use in our sampler. Press T to open tool menu and choose scissors. Now we can make cuts at the transients. After that, let's go back to tools and choose pointer tool. Now we can delete all the sounds that we don't need. You can rename files by pressing Shift N. In this case, we have bass drum, hi-hat and snare. The sample is now ready and we can upload them into the sampler. Make sure that you create zones from regions. New sampler track is created. Now let's go to the editor and see what we can do next. As you can see our bass drum, hi-hat and snare are assigned to different keys. Now we can extend the key range from note C to B so we have more flexibility. Each sample will be assigned to certain zone. In this case bass drum will stay within the first octave, hi-hat second and snare third. Now let's set the original sound on the F key so we can go higher and lower. Now let's look at the keyboard and play the sounds. As you can hear you can play back this sample at the original pitch higher and lower within assigned range. Now we can close the editor and save the samples as an instrument. EXS24 is simple and straightforward sampler that can help you to develop your own sound library. <laughs>